Hi all. In this video, we'll talk about TypeScript Decorator Metadata. TypeScript Decorator Metadata is a new feature which has been introduced in TypeScript 5.2. If five, you have, don't have 5.2 right now, you should uninstall it uh, using uh, npm or yarn. And then you have, should create a settings.json file in the folder which you have opened in VS Code. And here you have to add these uh, lines basically which would tell that uh, the VS Code wants to um, open the uh, use the TypeScript version which is installed in your node modules not the global TypeScript so once that's done let's get into it so decorator metadata has two concepts basically first is the decorator so decorator is a declaration attached to a class property and this is the decorator basically which is above each class property and basically the syntax for it is at the rate of and you know some word and that it should be above a class property and that some word should be basically a function so right now this is the function which is being used here i can't you know randomly add anything so it should be a function and this function is would be called for every class every class member to which it is attached so even if i don't instantiate it um if i let's say console log The context object let's say right and i run it then you will see that this particular function gets called for each property on which it is at, at the top of so it run for full name it tells that it has the kind getter it is not a static property it's not a private property and some other uh, fields and same for you know this is a uh, field of uh, this is a type of field last name and age and you know it, they are not static and prop, um, private properties so basically some information about the properties and we can do stuff in the decorator so what would we use the decorators for to change or modify the metadata now class metadata is a new concept which means that each class can have some meta information or metadata which would be some information regarding the class now if you want to access the uh, metadata we will use the class then use square brackets and then symbol dot metadata now by default maybe there is a chance that symbol dot metadata would be undefined so if you want to use that you will add this line here which would basically add the symbol dot metadata value if there isn't any right now you can see it's an empty object so by default it's an empty object but you can modify it to you know add stuff now uh, as a problem statement let's say i want to add the property names on which the decorator is attached uh, to be uh, present in the metadata so i want that in the metadata property of the class i want an array and in that array i want the property names on which the decorator is attached so in this case i want last name age and full name strings property names inside an array in the class metadata what will we use it for we'll see in the next step but first of all let's do it so right now we can see um serialize uh, function which is the decorator function doesn't do anything but i want to modify the metadata so you can see that the context object has the metadata as well and this metadata is actually the class metadata and also we see that this context has the name of the field as well so what i want is i want to attach an array add an array property to the metadata and then you know append every name that i get so cool so i'll do that so in the first line i would say const meta data is equal to context metadata so i get the metadata now i will say if there is no metadata prop names property which there isn't right now you can see it's an empty object then add on so i will say metadata prop names is equal to an empty array and then here i would simply say let me copy it dot push context dot names because context dot name has the name of that particular property on which the decorator is attached so right now if i rerun it we'll see that now the metadata has been modified now we can see that uh, the metadata of the class is an object with the prop names uh, property 
and that prop names property has a value of an array with the names of the properties on which the decorator is attached pretty cool but what do i do with it now we can use this metadata to do certain things now also interesting thing to note um we haven't called the class using the new keyword we, ha we haven't instantiated it but it just you know when this particular code ran it ran the uh, decorator function as well so um let's use this array to our advantage so let's say i want to add a to this one method to this class which only string which creates a stringified version of the object which would be which we would get from the person class but it should only have last name age and full name properties so i only want an object be created from the uh, person object a stringified object but with only these properties not the first name property or maybe you know let's say not the last name property as well because i mean i'm getting the first name and last name and the full name right so i don't need uh, first name and last name in my stringified object so how do i do that so let's say i add a function so i will say to json and then here i will return another function and would pass this to it so jsonify is a function here which i will add code to right now it doesn't do anything and this is basically the object instance at the moment and i have passed it in json so first of all i want to get the metadata from the object instance we know that it is a class property not on the object property so i will say um const metadata is equal to instance dot constructor constructor and that gives us the class and then now i can get the metadata from here as before now let me grab the prop names array so i will say metadata prop names and as string and here i will create a new object from the prop name so i'll so i'll say prop names or 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 array dot reduce so i will basically reduce this prop names array and get uh, create a new object with only the key value pairs of the property names that are present in the prop names array so i'll say um first the initial value should be an empty object here i would have the accumulator which would be the object and then the key so i'll say object key is equal to instance so i'm basically assigning the uh, value of the instance which would be the current object to this new object and then i will return the accumulator and i will here stringify it so now let me create a person object so i would say new person and let me pass the property values right and now i want to call that to json function so person dot to json now if i rerun it you will see that i only get an object with those property names why because first of all the decorator modified the metadata and added the full name and age property to the prop names uh, property in the metadata and then i use that array to loop through and only get the key value pairs i wanted for those properties so only full name and age so right now you can see full name is usman rahman it took usman rahman assigned it first and last name then this getter basically appended it uh, so i only got the full name property and the age property not these two properties so this is one application of how you can use it but you can use it to you know any um, way you want it's a very powerful feature um so if you didn't get anything you can comment down below and write answer the question as always like and subscribe uh and i'll see you in the next video bye